Uh, many people ask about the difference between a uh, partial and a total knee replacement. And so we're just gonna take a few moments to go over the structural differences between the two. But before we begin, we should just look at the anatomy of a knee to knee. So even though we think of it as one knee joint, it actually turns out that there are two columns. There's an inner column and an outer column through which load is transferred from the femur to the tibia. So inner column and outer column. Now, some people have isolated disease in just one column. There's damage in the cartilage between these two bones and there's associated pain and dysfunction, but the other column is healthy. Other people have damage in both columns where they have difficulty transferring load on both sides. And so part of the history, part of the exam, and part of the imaging process is to differentiate what type or what pattern of disease a person has. Now, if a person has a completely normal knee except for damage along the inner column, then we can do something like a partial knee. One side of the knee is healthy, there's damage only on the inner side, and so what we can do is we can resurface, we can put a new cap on the surface of the bone and a new cushion so that load can be transferred through that one column. And then the rest of the knee, the cruciates and the outer column, can work properly. Now, some people, the majority of people, have arthritis and aging in both sides. And in that situation, a partial would be insufficient because we fix this side, there would still be pain here and vice versa. So in that situation, we fix both sides, the inner and the outer column. So you can see, they're very similar, the same materials. They're both made of metal and polyethylene in between. But when a partial, we fix both sides of the knee. And, I'm sorry, in a total, we fix both sides of the knee and a partial, we fix one size. And that's basically the difference between the two types of procedures.